All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my opinion slash review for the film that still, by the way, is in theaters. Um, it is the 2023 film called The Meg the Trench, starring Jason Statham, and is also the sequel to the 2018 The Meg. Here's the plot. Jonas Taylor leads a research team on an exploratory dive into the deepest depths of the ocean. Their voyage spirals into chaos when a malevolent mining operation threatens their mission and forces them into a high-stakes battle for survival, pitted against a colossal prehistoric sharks. Here is the cast. So I want to start out saying that I really like this film a lot. Uh, I like the first one about the same, to be honest, but completely, they are both completely different films in a way. Uh, this film was so much more of a human on human action packed film with sharks and other creatures in the background, but it got pretty ridiculous at plenty of times. There even was a huge scene that felt like it was an underwater uh, aliens film that used so much CGI that wasn't the really best looking. Now I liked the color grading but the CGI got overused and it kind of wasn't the best. And there's a lot of CGI in here that's, that's questionable, especially the sharks. The final fight scene felt so much like a Jurassic Park spinoff than it, it did a Meg shark film. A lot of stuff going on with the film that was entertaining without a doubt, but the octopus was overkill in my opinion. And some people are saying it's a kraken, which technically kraken is an octopus. Technically, it's also a squid, I think. It's a mythical creature either way. So it's, it, I, but I don't, I've seen plenty of, uh, of uh, versions of, uh, of kraken and this, now it, it was just a giant squid. I mean, a giant uh, octopus. Which had its cool seat parts to it, but it was just kind of overkill in my opinion to have that. Uh, the human hat bad guys wasn't the best choice and definitely wasn't needed. Uh, here's my rating, I'll come back with my thoughts. It was a great film, but sadly not for the right reason. But fun, just run of the mill. Jason uh, Statham action blockbuster. Uh, I do recommend it though. Uh, it's definitely more of a entertainment for a again a big Jason Statham typical blockbuster action flick. They definitely went a different direction with this unfortunately. Which I mean on one hand it was good. I liked it for what it was. But for again like I said not for the right reasons. It should have been more like the first one was more of a a it, it had more Meg in it, and it kind of, kind of came off. Even the trailer kind of came off like it was kind of a uh, monstrous kind of Godzilla type of thing uh, film. And again, there was definitely a Jurassic Park reference into it, but there was definitely like a huge scene that kind of, kind of felt like a different type of the film, uh, where it was just like a, a spinoff series of uh, of. Of like a whole section of 20 or 30 minutes of of Jurassic Park type of of, of thing. So it, it's it, it's kind of a mixed bag. I can see people either liking this or, or like uh, not liking this. Um, personally, again, I liked it a lot. So obviously, what I gave it was what I gave it. But again, not for the right reasons, unfortunately. So. Um, yeah, so let me know your comments down below in the comments section. Uh, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and skull.